my name is Donald Fink is, and with me is... I'm Darren Fink and we're with Transfiguring Adoption here to do another foster and adoptive family book review for you today. And today we're doing a kiddo book. And what are we doing? Happy Adoption Day! Happy Adoption Day! Well, Lyrics by John, John McCutcheon and illustrated by Joy Julie Pashkis. So That's a funny name. It's an interesting name. It's different than yours, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at the back. Hip, hip, hooray! It's Happy Adoption Day! Celebrate with a special book and a song just for you. So, this book is... What is it geared toward, do you think, Dalton? Adoptive families? Foster families? Anyone? Like anyone foster, adoptive, or international families? And back to you. So this book is probably geared toward families that have been formed through adoption, whether it be international or whether it just be through domestic. However, I will say at the beginning of the book, there is an illustration of a family going on a plane to get their child. So a little bit geared toward international, but any adoptive family could use this book. What age groups do you think would be good for this book, Dalton? Pre-K up to my age in middle elementary. Yeah, so I think actually younger children, maybe younger end of elementary school too. Um, probably once you start getting up into third or fourth grade-ish, it might be a parental call. But then fifth and sixth grade, they've probably outgrown this book a little bit. Unless it's just kind of a sentimental thing that they you go back through and read. But uh, definitely younger children, this is great. Mm -hmm. um, I'll show you some of the illustrations in the book. The illust Dalton, what did you think about the illustrations? Well, I really did like the, like... The words and the illustrations are colorful, and I think it has a theme. Okay. Yeah, it does have the theme of adoption. They're going to get their child, and then they celebrate the adoption day. Mm -hmm. The illustrations are colorful. Uh, yeah, it's done in kind of almost a folk art type way. So they are bright, interesting colors that will keep a child's attention. They add to the story. They keep it moving. So I think that they are they're well executed. Um, as far as the tale itself, if you're looking for a book that is going to kind of explain how adoption happens or, or to explain it to your child or get into maybe some nitty gritties of emotions or different things like that for your kids to identify with, this isn't the book for you. This is going to be, this is more of a just a celebratory song slash poem book that you can use with your kids and they can relate to it because they, they have an adoption day. So it's just kind of a fun book that is geared toward families formed by adoption, um, not getting into details or helping you to explain things. And as you can see in the back here, there's actually a song that goes along with it that if you are musically inclined and can read music, you could sing the song with your kiddos. I can, I can read it too. You could? Well, we'll have to do that later then after this. Mm -hmm. But so there you have it. Happy Adoption Day. Dalton, what should they do? Look on our blog. We have a list of grown-up and grown-up book reviews and kid book reviews. And we'll have Happy Adoption Day on our book list and it'll have a detailed uh, description of the book with discussion questions and we'll even show you the grade that this book earns so that you can figure out more info if you would like to purchase this book. But we hope this has helped you to nurture and grow your foster or adoptive family.